Hi everyone, I'm Joel Ivy Johnson, and in this video I'm going to talk about one method of getting Visual Studio Code up and running on your NVIDIA, Jetson, Nano. Now Visual Studio Code is available uh, from Microsoft distri distributed in binary form for Mac OS, Windows, and it's available on Linux, at least for the uh, x86 or x64 versions of Linux. However, it's not available in binary form from Microsoft for the ARMS versions of Linux. Now, they do make the source code available, so it's possible to just download the source code and build it yourself. That's something else I'm taking a look at. But in this video, I'm talking about getting a distribution from another entity. Uh, it's available at code.headmounted.com uh, for download. So I'll talk about the steps that are necessary in order to get their build of it, along with showing an error that you might run into and how to get around that. Now, if you're someone that just dropped into this video because you just want to see the steps and go ahead and take off running, I'm not going to keep you waiting. If you look in the video description, you can see the commands that you need to run down there. Uh, if you're on a device where you can't see the video description, here it is on the screen. Uh, just go ahead and pause the video and these are the commands that you need to run. Uh, but if you want to be walked through the process, just keep on, walk keep on watching. To make sure I didn't miss anything, I did a full reset on my uh, Jetson Nano. So I'm starting off with a clean operating system image. And this just ensures that there are no steps that I might have done before and forgotten about. So I'm starting off from a blank slate. Now, before you get started, you want to make sure that you do an apt-get update and an apt-get upgrade. Now, when you run both of these commands, it's going to take a few minutes to run. I'm not going to show the complete output of those commands. Uh, I think this runs for like five minutes. So let's just go ahead and skip ahead to when this command completed running. If you go to the coded.headmounted.com website, they uh, show that you should enter into a pseudo session, and then there's a single command that you run in order to get Visual Studio Code downloaded and installed. Um, so in order to get into a pseudo session, you can just type sudo space hyphen s and press enter. And after that, you'll see how the prompt changes from ending with a dollar sign to ending with a pound sign. Uh, so when you see this, you know that it's running in an administrative mode. Now I run the command and this runs for a few moments. And after a little while you'll see an error. Now here's the error. It says that it was unable to uh, it says the following signatures could not be verified because the public key is not available. So the system has a list of keys that it uses to authenticate um, packages. So I, I'm just going to go ahead and add a key so that it can uh, authenticate this package. So right after the error, you can see the actual key that's needed. So I'm going to enter this key using the apt-key command. Okay, now that I've added that key, I'm going to enter into a pseudo session again. I'm going to run the same command that I did before. And remember, you can press the up arrow on your keyboard in order to cycle through commands that you've typed before. So I don't have to type that command again.
but after a few moments, you can see that it returns uh, a success message. So it's telling me that Visual Studio Code has been installed and I can just type code-oss in order to invoke it. I'll go ahead and start Visual Studio Code just so that you can see it is in fact up and running on this system. And the very first time you run it, it will direct you to the Visual Studio Code website. Close that down, but here's Visual Studio Code running. So that's all I want to show in this video. In the next video, I want to talk a bit what CUDA, about what CUDA is, and then we'll actually get into writing a program that makes use of the CUDA course. So if you're interested in seeing the next video, you can subscribe or you could just subscribe specifically to a playlist that I have available. The playlist is inside, uh, you can see the link to it inside the video description. On this playlist, I'll only put things that are related to the NVIDIA Jetson. Uh, so if you grab the, if you subscribe to the playlist, then uh, you'll see the other NVIDIA Jetson related videos that I upload in the future. But anything I upload that's on a different topic uh, will not show up here. And if you'd like to see more about the NVIDIA Jetson, there's also some entries that I've made on my blog. You can just go to this uh, URL in order to find it. This is j2i.net slash go slash Jetson.